Yo, what's going on, party people? Listen, I'm not sure. I believe we are live. Let me take that back. I am sure. I know I'm live. Right now, I should be live on Facebook. I should also be live on YouTube, and I should also be live for the first time on Amazon. So I'm doing a live test right now. I'm doing a live test right now. Gaming Granny says good afternoon and happy Monday. Happy Monday. Um, Gaming Granny, can you do me a favor? Uh, one of the things I love to do, I always get started. I say drop a one in the comments if you can hear me. Drop a two if you can see me. I believe it's better to be heard than to be seen. Also, I've got background music going right now. I'm using the ducking feature on the Roadcaster Pro 2. So I do just want to make sure that the music is not too loud. The ducking should be working. So as you hear me talking, that music should be at an appropriate level. When I stop talking, that music should come back up like this. So I do just want to make sure that everything is working. We got James Hicks in the building saying, Brother Walt doing all the things. What's going on, man? I'm doing a live test. <laughs> I figured uh, I just jump right in. I figured I just jump right in. I figured I just jump right in. Gaming Granny says, I am fine, so I'm good. So listen, if you're watching on Facebook, click the link in the description. I'm live over on Amazon. Same thing with YouTube. I'm definitely going to be trying to figure out how to do. Okay, I'm going to pull the music down myself because it's just kind of getting on my nerves. Um, I'm going to definitely be figuring out probably using a multi um, encoder setup for this. And so because, again, um, if you know anything about Amazon Live, they only take 720p. I always stream in either 1440p or 4K. I know some people is like it's really redundant. But yeah, that's just what I love to do so I can go back and repurpose the content later. Um, so typically what I would do is stream specifically on my main machine to YouTube and Facebook so they can get the full experience. And then I would run a second stream um, over to my other machine and I use that specifically to go to, um, to, go to uh, Amazon Live. That way I can still push out 4K or 1440p to YouTube and Facebook, and then Amazon Live gets the appropriate um, screen. Um, Bison33 says, how does this work? Bison33, exactly what are you referring to? When you say, how does this work, what are you referring to? And I don't know why y'all comments are coming in like so big, taking up all the screen. What exactly are you referring to? Are you talking about the streaming? What exactly are you referring to? But listen, um, I don't wanna be up here long, it's 159. I'm going to try to do this in like 15 minutes. I'm going to try to do this in 15 minutes. So again, for those of you, if you are watching on YouTube, if you are watching on Facebook, hit the link in the description to jump over to um, shopping with Walter on Amazon. And shout out to those who are over there in here. James Hicks, do me a favor. Can you drop something in the comments and tell me how do you change the carousel? Never mind. Never mind. I think I figured out how to do it. All right. This is what we're here for today. Axon Simo. You should be able to see that. The Axon Simo. Axon Simo. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, just dropped, you know what I'm saying, not too long ago. Yeah, I see the product on the device. Um, just dropped not too long ago. Um, and so there are several videos that are already out concerning this. But basically, um, like this right here, you know, this is a game changer more so for Ecamm. For those of you that are watching from my Ecamm or Let's Get Live crew, you know, there's been a big ask about putting Ecamm live on like the iPad Pro, getting pro apps. Doc Rock just put out a post about this maybe a week or two weeks ago talking about this no time soon, not in the foreseeable future. And the reason being, it's because iOS right now doesn't have a viable capture card solution. Enters the Axum Simo. There's a version for this that was already for Android. Um, that's $99. This is $179 at the time. You can look in the carousel. This is $179 at the time of me shooting this. But as you can see, it's made specifically for iPhone 
an iPad. First approved, my first MiFi, first MiFi approved iOS capture card, which means that now I can pull a camera through a capture card inside of this device directly to my phone. And I can record directly to the phone or I can go live directly from the phone or the iPad, whichever you choose. You can use it with either. Besides that, it has all of the pro features of a um, pro monitor. So those of you that use um, like the uh, ninjas, the Atomos, you know, some of you may use like the Cine or something like that, but the Atomos, um, ninjas, those are dope. You may use them for recording. You may use like the Shinobi, um, the Shoguns, just to kind of use it as a monitor. This gives you all those pro features. I'm not big on monitors other than just, you know, sometimes false colors, um, especially being outside, being able to have a brighter view or something like that. But um, this right here, like this is a, is a definite game changer, like a definite game changer. Now, one thing I hate about these boxes, you can never get them open. You can never get them open, so I'm struggling. So let's look at the comments while we got this doing. Uh, my bad, the iPhone is a monitor. Bro, the quality and intro. Bro, the quality intro you just did, Loki had me thinking it was a pre-recorded video. Man, I appreciate that. I pre That means it still looks good. Even though it's that 1280p, that means it still looks good. All right, so in the box. In the box, you get the manual. All right, y'all can see that there. Boom. Get this old hex key. Can't really see that. Um, you get the USC, USB C cable, USB C to USB C. Then you get the USB C to a uh, lightning adapter. And I know y'all can't really see that because it's kind of blurred out. They do you a big favor and really give you a mount that goes on top of your camera. So that's dope. All right. And then the granddaddy of them all. And I'm going to put the box back over here. Get this out of my way. The granddaddy of them all is the unit itself. All right. Mike Jones, what's going on, man? Gaming Granny says, oh, Ecamm is for, it's, Ecamm is Mac OS. Ecamm is Mac OS only, Mac OS. Uh, so right now it's not iOS, but that that has been an ask that everybody has been wanting how to bring Ecamm over to iOS. And I believe, as a matter of fact, anybody that's watching for Ecamm, tag them in this video, tell them to hop on, because I believe this right here, this right here is the solution. This right here. So as you can see, you have the um, you have the power um, for the for the five volt out. You've got the HDMI in. Your boy need a manicure bad. You got the on and off switch, and then you got the video out, which is just USB C. Cool thing about this, and let's confirm now. So this does take Sony MPF batteries. All right. So it does take the Sony. You are going to need the battery, just like a regular monitor, Sony MPF batteries. Speaking of batteries, now the question is while I'm doing this. Okay, there's an eject button. I was about to say, how, did it, how does this come off? Y'all can see I don't really do unboxings like that. But hey. What better way to get it in? It's Christmas time, yo. For my folks that's watching, what's on your Christmas? What's on your Christmas radar list? What's on your radar for Christmas this year? I think this is gonna be a dope gift. And then you see you got the uh, threads there at the bottom. All right, boom. Got the cold shoe mount at the top. So I think this is gonna be dope. You know what I'm saying? A dope gift. That's why I kind of put the Christmas tree in it because we're in, we're officially in holiday season. And if you're looking for somebody, um, a filmmaker, a photographer, um, this is a game changer again because you get to use your phone. So the dope thing about it 
is that let's say I'm out in the field and I want to either go live or I want to record some content. I don't want to have to worry about pulling out memory cards. You know, I'm a Sony shooter, you know, in image and edge. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. I primarily shoot with the Sony a7 IV. And I'm going to start dropping these things in the carousel. But that's my baby there. That's my baby there. The Sony a7 IV with the uh, full frame 24 to 105 G. That's my baby right there. But um, I've been trying to get back into like a, a lot of BTS behind the scenes and some tutorial stuff. So it's going to make a lot easier to be able to do this on the fly. Record directly to the phone and then be able to shoot the IG if I want to do a clip or something like that. But let me show you this real quick. If you're watching on Instagram. Not Instagram. <laughs> if you're watching on um, Amazon Live, I just added the power extra battery. So if you're concerned, if you're wondering about what type of NPF batteries, these are the ones that I use. I have several of these. I also have the one that comes, get the one that comes with the charger. And so again, it's going to give you the 8,800 milli milliamps, plenty of voltage. You know what I'm saying? NPF um, 960. MPF 960. I did just add those to the carousel for those who are watching. Um, if anybody is interested in the A74, if you're watching live on Amazon, I'm going to do you a favor. I just added that into the carousel as well. So you should see that in the carousel also. All right, so you should see those three products there. But let's just get back to this. Why is this important? I just want to talk about the application. Gaming Granny says, nice camera. I appreciate that. Um, the application of this for me, how would I use this? So again, just going back to clips, social media, and it's 208. I'm going to try to wrap this up in about 10 minutes. Um, I specifically would use this um, for clip purposes. So again, if I'm doing a shoot or something like that, that's kind of what I would use it for. Mike says, hey, Walt, I need a console for an upcoming project. Can you give me your contact? Yes. Uh, shoot me an email. That would be the best way to contact me. Shoot me. A matter of fact, I'm acting like I can't do this live. Actually, it's not going to let me do it live. And I should have I should have all this stuff prepared. Like I said, I just decided to go live, get this out the way. Mike, shoot me an email at uh, the CISB, the CISB at gmail.com. All right, so there you can kind of see, you know, put this on the camera. Boom, let's keep going. I'm gonna literally just set this up live. Where's my phone? All right, now I'm supposed to be using my phone. You know what I'm saying? For uh, cares for uh, for live. But clearly, and we still should be live. Boom. So let's take this. DW, yo, what's going on, uh, Devashi, my brother from another. You always one step above. Appreciate it, man. Listen again, for those of you, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on um, Facebook, I'm live right now on Amazon. So click the link in the description. I believe it still should be there. I believe it still should be there. I believe it still should be there. All right. So as you can see, no problem, dude. So I have... So that's kind of what it looks like. So this is with my, my iPhone 14 Pro. And then I have the lightning cable attached to the phone. And then I have the other, uh, the USB-C going into the Axon Simo. All right, let's put the battery on this. I ain't, I'm not even reading the directions. I'm being a horrible um, creative right now. 
I'm not even going to read the directions. You know, because we hard-headed. So I'm going to just do it like this. And I'm about 100% sure there is an app. Yep. <laughs> uh, so let's act, let's act like we're shooting the real. Like, this is, I'm doing this so live right now. I'm doing this so live. But again, what is the application of this? Well, I'm really going to show you, so y'all hang on. Because you're going to trip when you see this. Which app am I supposed to use, though? Axon, yeah, Axon C. So it's the Axon C app. Yo, I actually can show y'all this live. Come on, Walt. Come on, Walt. Come on, Walt. Let's get it together. Let's get it together. Listen, I'm I'm having such a joy. I'm like a kid on Christmas right now. I'm like a kid on Christmas. All right. So let's bring in the phone. Let's bring in the phone. I actually do have a scene already set up for my phone, but I'm not gonna use it. Let's just let's just do this raw. Let's do this live. Yo, shout out to everybody that's still watching. No, 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 no. All right, so I'm doing this live, adding a camera overlay. We're gonna add the phone. Tall. I love to see it. I really don't want any borders. Actually, I do. Let's put the border back. Let's do that. Yeah, I told y'all I'm doing this live. I don't want no corners. Y'all see what we got going on? Put it right under the Amazon Live logo. So you can see the Axon, the Axon C app. That's the one that you're supposed to get right there. All right. So this says monitor. All right. So I'm turning my camera on. Let me turn this on and then I need an HDMI cable to go from the Sony a7 IV. Sony a7 IV uses full HDMI and I'm gonna actually do an actual review that's probably much smoother than this because I'm, I'm just, I'm bugging right now. We just, we just willy nilly. That's one thing I love about the eight, the uh, A7 IV. I ain't got to use no more adapters for like HDMI, like the micro adapters or whatever. So I'm all connected up with this super long cable. I'm all connected up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click monitor. I'm going to click monitor. All right, this says no video input. All right. Let's see what I'm doing wrong. Let's go to menu. So I got to change the resolution because this is 1080. All right, so right now I got to set it to 4K. When I change this to 1080, it should pop up. Boom. Boom, shaka, locker. Yo, this is crazy. All right, so y'all are seeing all right, my HDMI output settings. My bad, y'all. My bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right. So let's create. I'm gonna do a new scene so you can actually see this live. So give me one second. Let's do one more screen. I still got seven people watching. Yo, let's hurry up, walk. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Let's use the iPhone. We almost there. No, 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 no.
All right, bet. All right, so this is why this is so dope. All right, this is why this is so dope. So what you're looking at now live, what you're looking at now is a live shot from, you're looking at the HDMI um, output from my camera. All right. And so you're also seeing a screen recording, the capture I have going on of my phone right now, but you're looking at the live output from my camera. So why is this important? Why is this important? And let me just add me back. So y'all can see my beautiful face. So you can see my beautiful face. All right, why is this so important? So let's say, um, I don't know if y'all remember, I did kind of a, a photography walk um, and I was doing some teaching on the exposure triangle or whatever. This is crucial because this allows me to um, record, you know what I'm saying, um, that clip it up real quick and then boom that's something i can upload directly to instagram voiceover whatever so you know you can see right here you can see well it's going to be hard for you to kind of see what my settings are just because i'm capturing this live on the phone so it's kind of covering that up but you can kind of see let's see i'm doing this live let's see is there any way for me to take the settings off like is there any way for me like the window display overlay okay so this says I should be able to take the overlay off but y'all see that right click to select the picture no 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 Council. Council. So that's talking about a different type of overlay. Um, display. Full range. Dang. All right, I wish I could show y'all this without without that. But anyway, let's because I don't want to take up too much time. So let's get back to this. So let's say if I was doing a tutorial right now, I'm in photo mode. Um, my shutter speed is at 1, 2 over 50. My f-stop is at 4.0. Um, this is my metering mode, sans. Um, all I'm just a hair um, overexposed, just a hair, and I have an ISO 6400. So let's just say for whatever reason, I'm doing a tutorial, you know, and somebody says, well, Walt, these are my settings, and my picture is dark. And I'm like, okay, well, what you need to do I'm about two stops underexposed right now. So exposure triangle, you know, I could I could easily say, well, you know, you want to turn down your shutter speed. But the only thing about that in photography, your, even though this is giving me basically a perfect exposure right now, your shutter speed one over 60 is going to be too low. And I'm shooting handheld. So me personally, I don't recommend shooting under one over 200 or one over 250, but that's another conversation for another day. Your aperture, which is the f-stop, the 4.0. This lens goes no lower than an f4. So, you know, that we're kind of stuck with that. You don't want to go higher because it gets darker. So we got to keep it at an f4. So the only thing we can adjust at this time is the ISO. Luckily, with the a7 IV, you know what I'm saying? I can jack this thing up, and I'm still not going to get as much noise. And based on my metering mode right now, I'm pretty much almost at a perfect exposure. And then you see there, I'm able to take the picture. So that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm able to kind of show you specifically what I'm doing. And I can be like, you're looking at this live. So just imagine if I was on location at a shoot and I was doing this. You know what I'm saying? So that would be absolutely, completely dope. Same thing with video. So maybe not too much change, but my video, these are the same thing with the video settings. So now shutter speed goes to one over, uh, one over 50. F-stop was at F14. You can clearly see I'm super overexposed right there. Drop that ISO. Let's go down about 640. Let's go down about 800. 640 seems to be the sweet spot. And then boom. 
So this is this is going to be an absolute game. If you're a photographer, if you're a videographer, you know what I'm saying? This is just going to be dope. Then let's just go through this real quick. Some of the settings that we do have up here. Contrast. Histogram. You got your waveforms. Focus peaking. LUT, if you want to add a lookup table. Um, you got your false color. <laughs> like, literally, you have all of your professional things. Zebras. It tells you what's exposed, what's underexposed. Um, your audio markers. Oh, that's the other thing. So what I can do is connect AirPods to my phone and I can monitor the audio that's coming live from the camera. So what you're reading right now is a live look at what my audio levels are specifically on the camera. Turn those zebras off. So that's the dopest, that's the dopest thing about this is telling me you know what the input is you know what i'm saying h.264 the encoder i just act soon i wish there was a way and there probably is i just don't know it yet i gotta do some more research to turn to turn um to turn this off Turn this display off. There's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way. I don't know. Oh, that's a screenshot. If I wanted to take a screenshot. Okay. That's dope. So again, I'm doing this live. So again, those of you watching on Facebook that's trying to figure out what in the world I got going on. Those of you watching on YouTube, if you're watching with me live on Amazon Live, I appreciate it. If you're looking for a gift, if you're looking for a dope gift for your favorite creator, you know what I'm saying? Um, for your favorite creative, if you're looking for something um, for your favorite photographer, for your favorite filmmaker, this right here, you know what I'm saying? The Axon Simo. Again, this is going to be a game changer specifically um, for those <laughs> who are just in the content creation space and you want um, to be able to to do some you can live stream directly from the phone connected to wi-fi or using cellular um like i said you have all of the professional controls i really don't care about none of that um you have all of the professional controls that you have you know like from the atomos ninja shinobi shogun or something like that but again the biggest thing use case that i see for this photographers and filmmakers reels whatever you being able to get that buttery footage coming out of something like the Sony a7 IV, or you can use something like what I'm using to record this right now, the Sony ZV-E10. Um, gonna give you that dope footage or whatever, and um, being able to share that on the spot. Like to me, it gets no better than that. Like to me, you can't, that's not something um, that you can beat. That's not something that you can beat at all. I think that's completely dope. So for those of you still watching, we still got a couple of people. Let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying? What do you think? What do you think? Is it viable? Is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Do you see yourself using um, something like this? You know, would it make sense um, for your use case? Again, those of you who are watching on Amazon, of course, you see we've got that down in the carousel. We've got the MPF batteries down in the carousel. We got the Sony a7 IV. Again, I'm going to link everything down to the description that I talked about. The Sony ZV-E10, I'm using a 16 millimeter. Um, the batteries I use specifically for this, the lens, whatever. Again, first Amazon Live, this is a different experience. <laughs> so um, I'm definitely going to tweak some things um, to make this a whole lot smoother. I know what I got to do to make this a whole lot smoother for myself. But hey, what better way to do it than to jump in live? But I definitely appreciate you guys jumping in. Again, any information that you need, jump down in the description. You can find all the information there. But until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Y'all be easy.